We know that electromagnets are temporary magnets that work as long as they are supplied with electricity. The electric doorbell in most homes is a direct application of electromagnets. At the end of this module, you will be able to describe the construction and working of an electric doorbell. Let's see what's inside an electric bell that makes it work. We'll use this circuit diagram to explain the working of an electric bell. Let's begin with the parts that go into the making of the bell. We have the electromagnet here, which gets magnetized when the circuit is made. This is the soft iron armature that gets attracted to the electromagnet when the circuit is made. Here's the adjustable screw contact. That's the contact spring. A springy metal strip that pulls the armature back when the contact is broken with the screw. Here goes the hammer and gong that does the ringing. The circuit includes a power source, which could be a battery or the mains. Let's now watch the electric bell in action. When the switch is pressed, the circuit is completed. The electric current flows from the source to the electromagnet and then to the contact screw and finally to the source again. The electric circuit is thus completed. We'll release the bell push and see what happens. Well, the circuit is now broken and all the parts have gone back to their original positions. The bell has stopped ringing. Now, let's watch more closely. Once again, we press the bell push. The magnetized electromagnet pulls the soft iron armature strongly towards itself. The spring connecting the armature gets under tension and the hammer strikes the gong which produces the sound. Now watch. The electric current flowing in the circuit breaks at the contact points and the electromagnet gets demagnetized. Therefore, the electromagnet cannot hold the armature. At this moment, the spring brings the armature back to its original position. As the armature returns to the original position, the electrical contact is re-established and the electric current flows through the circuit and the electromagnet gets magnetized again. Due to a rapid make and break of electric contact, the hammer hits against the gong again and again, producing a ringing sound. The ringing keeps repeating until the push button switch is released. Now, watch this. Doug Haugen, the inventor of the first electric bell. And he was just 14 years old when he invented this. Believe it or not, he actually used a car battery as the power source.